Okay, so I'm out there at the park today and I'm quickly going to tune, uh, do a, how I, a, a little tutorial thing. Um, I actually saw this tutorial on um, uh, um, Open Pilot forums, but uh, to noob tuning for a uh, CC3D. So I'm going to try and tune this um, HMB235 quickly and just show you how I do it. You know, under normal... Uh, uh, you go into, you know, I would go into um, just normal settings over here and, um, uh, um, you know, the, the basic stuff and I'll just drag these, um, uh, um, you know, um, sliders and I'll, I'll make it a little bit more snappy and a little bit more uh, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but, um, you know, uh, the CC3D actually has a lot more tuning that can be done um, and, and this tutorial shows you how to do that. So the first step, though, um, you, you know, if you want to save some time, is to uh, um, assign a channel to, to, your, a, um, a, to, a, to a part like this or a, or a slide or something on your controller. It can be done without it. You just, um, you know, I'm going to do it this way because, you know, I can change values in real time with that. And um, you set that up in, in, in GCS, and I'll show you a little bit now how it works. But um, once you do that, you know, it, it becomes a lot easier. It will save you probably half an hour worth of time. Of course, you can change the values manually and come, come change them in, 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 in Open Pilot ground control. Uh, but, um, you know, if, if you have a, 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 the luxury of having an extra channel, I assigned it to channel 7. So uh, you can see me actually changing the values. I'll show how I change the values there. So I'm going to try and do it, you know, uh, just uh, get this guy uh, all set up and, and, and tuned. And let's see how that goes and see if it works well. Okay, so of course the first thing is to enable this TXP ID. And then you need to restart your, your machine. So the first thing you want to set it on is roll rate KP. And I'm going to do it on bank 1. My source, I'm going to say um, accessory 2 is my source. The minimum value I'm going to assign over here is going to be, um, let me see, 3,000 and maximum 20,000. So it's 3,000 over there. My maximum is probably going to be 20,000. So that will be the value of, of uh, um, that and it will make a little bit more sense. So on my input I went accessory 2. I'm now going to accessory 2. I'm going to assign that channel number 7. Okay and um, I'm going to quickly calibrate that and just to make sure that my channel number 7 is working. So I'm going to see all my channels working. There's my my flight modes, but then I have this guy, and um, so that is the guy I'm going to assign PPM, and I'm going to, oops, say it's um, stop calibration, sorry, I'm going to assign PPM, I should have saved there, and I'm going to say channel number 7, I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to start my calibration, okay, I'm going to move all my parts, I'm going to move all my my um, stuff over here, and there you can see that channel number seven. Okay, okay, machine. Now you can see channel number seven moving up and down as I move a, a slider, and that's what I want. So, channel number seven, accessory two. So, I'm going to stop this calibration. And um, now I'm going to go into um, here. Uh, um, I'm going to use number one, so I'm just going to use rate. And it cannot, uh, our attitude, and it cannot be rate. That's the last thing you want. I'm actually going to change them all to our attitude just so that I don't mess this up. And I'm going to access lock and I'm going to cruise control them all. So bank one, two, and three. So um, just so that I don't mess this up, this has to be an R attitude or attitude. I'm going to just put my arming back and I'm going to say um, it is your right. So I'm going to save all of that. So there are my RC inputs ready now. I know I can adjust this. So now because I've assigned a KP role to accessory 2, if I now come into um, my... Um, 
my actual uh, um, uh, tuning over here on attitude I arm my machine and I go into stabilization you will notice that this value over here can actually change so I'm going to now turn the slider and notice it move you see how it moves to 2000 and 1000 so um, that is a little bit too high still so I'm gonna have to make some changes there um, let me disarm it it's disarmed so uh, I'm gonna go um, into here and I'm gonna say well it's gonna go from 3000 to maybe let's just make it uh, 9000 okay let's see if that's better okay so in the other values I want to set now that I've got that working I want to um, go into advanced setting over here and I want to say use advanced setting and I want to change these values to 60, 60, 42, 42 and I want to uh, make this 360, 360, oops not 260, 360, 360, 252, 360, 60, 60, 252. I want to make all of these guys down here 300, 300, and I want to make this 350 on your 00, 350, and then I want to zero all of these guys out. So I want to zero that out. I want to zero that out. This guy, we're going to make it zero, zero, three, fifty. This guy, I'm going to zero it out. This guy, I'm going to zero it out. And this guy, I'm going to zero it out. Okay, so that's important. Okay, so I have all of those zeros. I have... Um, this uh, uh, the, the proportional I can now change with my um, with my um, a remote and let's just confirm that I can do that. Armed. So it's at 100, 200, 300, 400, 550. So I can change it. I'm going to now fly the copter and try this. Okay, let's see that value as it's read then from um, let's uh, arm that uh, we gotta get a battery in there and let's see what that value was that it read and Okay, there it is. The value of this was a 619, so I'm going to go with 600. So I'm going to remember, and I'm going to note it down. I'm going to write, so it's my other quad, I'm going to go with a 600 over there. So that's for the, um, the first one we set, and that was for the uh, roll KP. So next, we're going to do the pitch KP, okay? So it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to set these values back 
to um, their defaults. Okay, so this is going to go back to 300. Zero, zero, 300. That's 300 and 350. These stayed zeroed out. I'm going to save that. So we now got our pitch value. Our pitch value is 780. Okay, and now we're going to go to the website and find the decent values, the, the, the values from the calculator, the online calculator. The online calculator is available, I'll show it now. So we got the second value we got was 782, so I'm just going to make it 780. Those are my two values, 600 and 780. You can see for my MXP 230, those were the values. For this HMB, it's 600 and 780. So let's go to the website. Okay, so here's the site for the tuning. And um, these are the two values, the roll and the pitch values we just worked out. So in this case, it was 600 and 780. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say 600 and uh, 780 and then I'm gonna say well what kind of ESC do I have on this guy I've got a one shot with active braking what flying style do I want well I want a uh, sports flyer um, and then uh, what kind of frame do I have I have a mini H and then I hit calculate and there's your values these values you will now directly place into, um, copy them into your uh, um, GCS in the appropriate area. Okay, now that I got the values from the site, I'm going to enter them here. It's over here, of course. <laughs> uh, 380, 493, 493, 873 one, 1572 one, 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 And 74. Okay. So the other thing, of course, you can go back to the site and choose a different flying style and assign those values in these profiles, 1, 2, and 3. So you can have three different profiles if you have that ability and a, and a, and a channel to change. And then, of course, the other thing I want to do at this point is I want to go in expert over here and um, my max angle and cruise, I want to change that to 80 so that I can do some rolls and stuff. So max angle and over there is 80 and cruise control because I'm going to use that. I've now entered my values in uh, channel number one or setting number one, bank one. So um, I think we're ready. Let's go see how she flies.